Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We have Doug in the house. Hello. I have to thank Doug for doing an awesome job of cleaning all that mess out of the side of the car to weld anything to. We did a really good job. I'm going to go to the other side just to show Jolene or show you what we have been doing. So if you want to try this um, trick, and it's really not a trick, it's just a matter of cleaning it out and going for it. So we've got a piece that we put in the wheel well here. Um, that piece in the wheel well, we have welded way up here. We didn't we cut it. We didn't butt weld it in. We just put it welded up above here. We welded on the inside, and we welded it to the sill um, or the quarter panel. Now the quarter panel cannot move because we got this piece of angle iron arm welded in there in that patch, and we have it welded down the bottom. If Jolene wants to come to the other side, not sure if she does or not. Now if you want to come to this side and look on the inside. If you want to come around this way and look in this way. Jolene's coming around. We'll just give her a second. Then we'll get right at it. And that way there, um, you can see exactly what's going on. So we've got a piece welded inside the wheel well that connected to our rock to our quarter panel. So this is all welded in here, welded up here, welded there. This connects that that's in there now. It's not going anywhere. We had to have that done in order to connect our square stock. We had both sides done. Uh, we have cleaned up the mount on this side. This side on, on the mount on this side, it had a bad lip all the way around. We just put a piece of 14 gauge on that. We rolled it up the best we could. You're not going to see in that. It's going to be covered up, but we do have a new lip put on it. And, uh, the, and the mount is there. On the other side, I guess it's, it's okay. It's okay. But now we're going to start um, giving it some, what's it called, Doug? TLC. <laughs> Instructional integrity, he said before. Instructional integrity, yeah. yeah. He said he wasn't going to say that twice. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Instructional integrity we're going to give it. And we're going to start running the square stock. We have some one inch, I think it's by three sixteenths. So we're going to run the one inch square stock from the wheel well and the, 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 this part here up to the front up to this mount and that's what we're going to do I'm going to measure it and I hopefully I, I get it right I'm going to do this Doug's going to cut me a piece thanks for coming back everybody we appreciate it I want to hold that tight back there Doug 69 dude do you not say 69 in Chinese Doug? nope two can chew two can chew <laughs> Oh, what do you think? Yeah, it's pretty slick. <laughs> 69 is what we need, Doug. 69 for, for a cut number? on the square stock. And we may as well do two of them because we're going to do them both the same. And what I'm thinking is we're, we're going to apply the square stock on this here. We're going to apply it on this mount up here. And we're going to run and make it go straight. I mean, we're not going to bend it or anything. Um, and, and we're going to stay below this line so if the sill has to come over and, and the still has to come over it can weld to the square stock and have a place to go now, when that sill comes on or we cut this out we have to have to somewhere to go and this square stock from here to there is going to supply that if I'm going to take a second while Doug's two can chewing oh two can do this we one. have, I'm going to show you right quick, like, if Jolene wants to come up here. I don't know if you can see it or not. There is a mount right way up here in the front. Sorry about that. There's a mount right here in the front that is holding the car up. It's in really good shape. Um, it's in front of the mount that we've been cutting to get where we're going. So there is a mount right here. We've got a little piece in here. We're going to fix this stuff from the inside. Got a piece of 14 gauge here. We're going to fix this piece that where it's going here. But there's a mount right, right there. That's where the mount is holding the car up right there. Nothing wrong with it. It's in good shape. It's up on the firewall. It's up high enough. It's not getting rotten. So that's what's holding the car up right at the present moment. The one that comes back here, we do have some rod on the inside of it. We'll fix that from up here. I think it'd be a lot easier if I'm up here than down there. Um, the only problem I don't like about that is I don't like how it looks underneath when I fix it from the top. So basically you have to go down the underneath and then you have to do something with it because it doesn't look that good. Uh, with our new floor, 
You are not going to see any of that, I hope. And the reason being is we're going to try to make it so it's all going somewheres for the matter of um, the intention that we want. We're going three quarter. We go. Let's go the inch stuff. Okay. Inch. I assume it was the smallest stuff, buddy. Only reason we're going inch. Joey has wrote on the floor for me. Daytona Turkey Run, November 23rd to the 26th. We will be there. Uh, we're excited to go there. Warm weather. Uh, last time we were there, all kinds of cars. Uh, good people. Everybody was happy. Uh, it was a good time. So the Turkey Run, November 23rd to the 26th. We will be there. Come see us. Sounds great, man. I can't wait. <laughs> Hey, Doug, you'll be home watching your young fella. <laughs> That's too bad. So, we'll get that put in there. And what I'm going to do is, while Doug's cutting that, I don't know if I got, know if I got time or not, I'm get a piece of bristle board. I'm going to make some patterns, and the reason being is I know what I'm going to do. Um, on the next step of this, after the square stock was in, we're going to do something so it looks good. Because it does not look that great right at the present moment. Um, and also, on this floor thing, you know, oh, it's going to take forever, it's going to take forever. No. No, it's not going to take forever. No, not at all. It's not going to take forever. It's going to take a little time, mind you. But it's not going to take forever. It's just going to take a, you know. Yeah, I like that mask. Um, this floor job, I would say if we went right at it, I don't say right at it, but I'm gonna say a week, no problem. What I want to do is I want to get the angle of the kick panel, and I just made that sharp cut because I can. Pick one of those lines and cut it off. I'll pick this one. squiggly down there, that's fine. <laughs> More of a mark there. Not bad, looks good. Everything I've done here, I've made a pattern. Put, put a lip on that, made a pattern. Did the, did the wheel well, um, we made a pattern. So if you want to come over and take a look, I made a pattern for that to fit. Um, and that's the way it was originally. Um, that's the way we put it back. So Doug has got a piece of square stock cut for me. I'm going to place it in there, or try to place it in there, and see what happens. I used to like stickers when I was a kid, but not right now.
sure what games that would be. What I have to do or what I want to do is I want to place this below this. So I want to get it in there. So I'm just below this. So if I want to put a sill on this car, I can make the sill and run it over and lay it on top of this and that would be fantastic. That would be fantastic. Joey, you want to get in? Is that what you're doing? Joey, you want to get in? That looks like it's pretty, pretty good. I'm just going to come down some, down some. That going to come down some there, does it, Doug? Or is that below that? That's below that, isn't it? Just below that. This talking about? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. This square stock below this piece right here. Ah, yeah. I want that below that. It's a little flush with it right there. So if it come down a bit like yay. Yep. When the square stock, this is what I'm concerned about. I do not want to see any end of square stock with nothing on the end of it. I want it finished. So I want to finish it all. Um, I think that's what Jim was complaining about some of his car. Um, I wasn't worried about finishing it off because I didn't think he was doing what he's doing with his car, but he, we want to finish all the ends of the square stock off so it looks good. So when it's, when it's coming out here, the end of the sill has got to be finished off just like this. The quarter panel is part of the sill. That had to be finished off and closed off to end it. Um, and then we have an inside sill that comes here that closes it off here. This would be an inside sill. It would be welded down here and along here or something. But same thing that goes on up the front. The front of the sill has to be closed off. If we want to take a look at this piece right here, just stay where you're at, Joanne. Just do a little maneuver. There's a little piece right here. See that? That is the end of the sill, so nothing can get inside of it. Right? Um, it has to be closed off. So if we turn the welder on, Doug... I'll get my helmet on. Start. You want to clamp that right to the quarter panel. Will be fine. Or back. Maybe the whatever the quarter panel will be fine. We're gonna plant this one on, and then we're gonna make some pieces work. We're not plugged in yet. I'm gonna get a helmet. I hope as I explain this, you understand what's going on I hope I appreciate I'm not appreciate I hope that you do just so you can do it basically we have cleaned everything out we have finished the wheel wells to the quarter panels which half has to be done that's how it works out that's how it goes right there we get a nice piece going on now we want to connect the back to the front uh, to make integrity if you'll throw that on for me Douglas that'd be fantastic what I'm going to get you to do, Doug, is to hold one end of this square stock, or maybe even get a, grab, maybe, is there a little level up there, a little tiny one? Or is that over there? It's on the other toolbox, Doug, if you want to grab on the toolbox over there, a little red toolbox over there on the side, hanging up on it. Can gotcha. you see it stuck to it? Gotcha. All right. So we have chewed everything out. Not gonna, not gonna try to replace that, fix that. Not gonna do that because I'm gonna fix that here in a bit. That, to be honest with you, I'm gonna bury it and fix it at the same time. Had to do something with this back here because this is the wheel well. This is where this, the mud and dirt will be getting in. Had to fix that. I'm gonna just run that across like that on this piece of square stock. So we're gonna, you'll hold the back if you want, Doug. I'll, I'll weld the front, or you can, you can hold the back. Right now, as far as that goes, I just got to get this down the side here. Oop, mm -hmm. You want to put your level across, or your square, a little bit of level across that? You want to hold the front? How's that? You hold the front. Let's get it down some. Can you take it down? How do you feel with that? Now, is that up or down? Makes that go. come down the sills also pointed up a little bit where it's bent right there it's more level back here okay push it out to this thing well 
I know that. Turn. I'm all right. We're just gonna go with that, that's all. Don't matter if it's level okay. or not, I can't tell. Are you ready? Yep. I'm down there far enough, I'm down there far enough. I'm gonna just tack it. Basically, that's what you should do. One tack, it's holding it for you. Now, when I pull this up, is it all too high? Nope. Is here. Let's kind of push down there, though. It's kind of, that's the part where we, you know, where we lean, like, you know what I mean? Can you, let's shut the door, Doug. Nope. Let's take the water and throw it underneath first. Come to me. Yeah, you can, sh you can shut the door. Now I just have to be below that door, basically, to make myself happy. And I'm gonna go, see that corner right there? It starts turning up right there. I'm saying that we're good. Oh yeah, we're good. You can open your door, Doug. Just a sec, just a sec. Oh, can you shut it again, please? All kinds of room. Uh, the reason I'm saying there's all kinds of room is so I can shut this, go ahead, shut your door. All kinds of room on there. Nothing's going to hit when the sill comes in. Nothing's going to hit. We're good. That's what we want. If we want it, when we put the sill on, then we can lay the sill on top of this thing. So I'm gonna whack this thing in here. It looks like it's going pretty good. Whack in another spot, hold it in place. You're allowed to open the door, Doug. Good old buddy. Now. The reason I come up that far is because it's got a nice flat area. There's no sense me cutting this hole out. Uh, no sense of that. Just kind of, what's the sense? I just want a nice flat piece to put in there. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a nice flat piece in there. And I'm gonna get. So I can cut that piece out. Piece of metal too, please. And thank you. I'm going to weld this in here. I'm going to tack it in here. And the only reason I'm welding it is because I think they're okay. This is away from this, and we're going to fix it. We are. We're going to fix it. Just gonna put that in there. Shits and giggles. Pack that on there. Something to do. Now we're gonna knock this on up here. This is not finished on the end. I don't. I do not want to see that. But we'll deal with that when we get the fender off and when we cap the sill. We'll cap it off. This is the mount. We're gonna connect it to the mount. I have a sheet metal, Doug. You want to give me your marker, please? This one does suck, <laughs> if you say. <laughs> Thanks, man. No worries. <laughs> Let's weld this on. take and clean that out up in there so I can weld that. So we're just getting started here. Just getting started. Where'd my my hat go? There it is. Now yeah. Um, Doug has got that piece. Oh, good. I'm gonna make another piece. Come on. Bop, bop. 
Doug's got a marker. Get another marker. What's up? I can chomp a couple pieces off for you on the on the shear. Chomp a couple pieces off. Make make your life easy. Rather easy. Serious. A second. A second. Heavy weight for that. I, I, just, I just need to gain some weight in it, Doug. <laughs> Two Wheaties tonight. Kind of flopped over on me there a little bit, but. You're on your own, Doug. Thanks, brother. <laughs> You're on your own. I'll get a marker. You can have yours back. No, I got to, I should be able to find one. You have a stash. See, I'm well, going to See where you stash them. I do. I even got brand new ones left by. Oh, ho. I'm going to put one in each pocket. We'll deal with that later. Um... I want to make a piece for the back. to go to that shape whatsoever. What it has to do is it has to tie the car together and that's all it has to do. So I'm going to do this. Make a straight line. I'm going to guess. Here's where I made my mark. I'm going to put that there. Because I'm going to bend a 90 on that piece. I come down and pop that and then close that. I'll go see. Get a piece of metal to cut this. I do, I do. Okay. I'm hoping I got a piece of metal here long enough. Look at that. Yep, 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 yep. It's not straight on that edge. Straight on that one. jump on this bad boy. If you get it up to the front of the the blade up like that, you generally will cut fairly decent. Fairly decent. Joins. These goodies. Just trying to get this done. Put a clip there. Put it there. I'm actually just going to eye it up. Looks good to me. 
and then we'll see. And I've got another one right there when I need it. Bum, 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 bum. Awesome. Um, yeah, move this. I should put a tape measure on it just for shits and gates. Throw that under there. <laughs> I'm trying to get something done here within our time, that's all. There's one inch. We'll do the one inch. And there's one inch. Oh, we were pretty close, weren't we, Doug? We sure were. Awesome. Now, when I bend this, I'm not going to want a 90. I'm going to want less than a 90, because when I put the metal on the car, when the metal sits against the car, and if I'm a 90, straight out 90, um, it might not fit that square stock down below. I have to beat it down. If I leave it down like this a little bit, less than a 90, the one inch lip should bend down towards I hope you understand that. Less than a 90. You can see how that's not quite a 90. If it's not quite a 90, then it should set down on my on my square stock. Cut a little bit out there. I'm going to give you some trimming, okay, buddy? Sure, pal. Okay. We'll do Long one end, and then we'll do the other. I want a little bit out here. We'll do that first. Take that little piece, that little tiny piece out there. Where's your other piece that you made me? Hey. Now we'll take this piece. We're about to clean that out. Do that again. Got it slide in there a little bit better. I can weld that down in there now. I can slide it a little bit further. Be less gap to weld. We'll do that first. A little less gap to weld. Just take a little bit more off that. Sure thing, man. Get this piece in here. Um, I want to get cleaned up. So I want to know where it's at to clean it. A screwdriver. It's cleaned off. I probably should have went with the screwdriver. Factory stuff right there. That's factory. I'm going to get one more piece over here. We'll get this ready. Now we're looking good and tight there. And we'll get this piece done. I probably should have got that, but we can do that after. That's fine. Now, with that in there, I 
like to have that sheared off. And I'd like to have that cut. Two pieces. Thank you. I'm going to make a piece to weld on to the piece that Doug made me. Doug made me the pattern for the kick panel. Now I'm going to make something for that. We've got this piece here. Bend it up and fall the way along. So when we set that panel down on there, we have something that looks good, basically. So, so there, Doug has made us the ultimate panel. Now we get to weld that on there, pry that on there. We'll weld that down there so that looks nice. It's in place, it'll be tight, and it'll be right. All right, we'll go with that. Doug? Tight is right. Tight is right? Tight is right. So, it's... Doug, I'm going to put this on here. <laughs> Get out of there. I want to bring it back a little bit. Stop it. Stop it. Let's do that. Let's bring it back a little bit. It's not fancy. Fancy. Clean it up. Can you can you clean that up for me, Doug? There I a little sure bit, can, old buddy. I sure can. Where that line is, and just yeah. All right. So I'm going to add this to that, or to this piece. I'm going to add this piece to the piece I got going on here that Doug already cut me. Doug's going to take and clean. I was going to steal your cord. Can I get a hammer. Uh, I know there's a hammer out here, but. It's right there. Okay, so we're just going to straighten this out a little bit. I just want to take some edges off this. Want my gloves. Doug's going to clean up a little bit. Doug, also. Yes. See this piece here? Yeah. Will you clean along the top of that edge? So Doug's got two pieces to clean. We want to clean the top of this piece here. Yep. Sure, no problem. Oh, there you are, sweetheart. So Doug's going to get me two pieces ready to weld in. He's going to clean them up. A lot of caterpillars this year. A lot of caterpillars this year. Use my flapper wheel just to get her nice and clean. Caterpillar.
this way. <clears throat> Whoop. <laughs> Back some here or something. Draw a line on that. Beautiful. Okay. Gonna make a couple cuts.
There we go. There we go. Okay. And that's how I'm going to do that. Put that piece in there. Cut that little tap off. Pull it out. Come on out there. Okay. Alrighty. Doug's got that piece looking nice. Right on. Let's weld this up really quick, quick as I can, and then we'll apply this piece. Apply both pieces, actually. I think it would be just as easy to run the weld now. I can weld it when I get it in there, I suppose. I can. Uh, I'm just figuring that it'd be just as easy to run it this way and do it quickly. Doug, if you want to make two more pieces, I got the patterns, or you've got the pattern, if you want to make one of these and make one of those for the other side. You don't have to cut anything, what can I say, to make it fit. Just cut it, the pattern, then we'll cut it and fit after. Yep. So you need, okay, cool. Cool. Just trying to weld that up as quick as possible. Looks good to me. A little bit of a gap going on there. Go no hanger it is. for it. Just buzz this off. Cut this off the zip cut. Let's do a little flapper wheel trick here. I'll put that back in for you, sweetheart, in a second.
Not going to take all the weld off, just some of it. And hopefully we got a piece that'll work in there. If not, we'll make it work. Here we go. We're going to weld it right down that edge. Nice. So we got a piece in there and a piece in there. Grab the welder. Turn it on with my let's get them in place and then we'll weld them in. Fits good. Fits good. Oh, haven't got a ground to take it. So in. Clean that up just a little bit right there. that time all right this is kind of a hard place to weld but uh, if I can do it, we can do it. steering wheels a pain in the ass yeah Let's get it tacked in here somewhere and then we'll go from there there's that lovely mount that I am more than grateful to weld this onto. Just tack it as you go. to get it down in place. I generally not big on the hammering on, on a panel, but this is going to get covered by floor panel. You just want to have it welded. could be the most difficult place of all to do the work, but... Keep at it. Looking around for my third iron, but I've got a hammer. Hmm. 
Would you grab a piece of uh, a long, like a, just give me a hand for a second. So you just grab a piece of wood and come from the other side and push this in for me. Yes, sir, no problem. Please and thank you. Please and tackle. It's always good to say please and thank you. You get more of the please and thank you than you actually would ever know. Poke, poke. Okay, go on there. Push that in tight for me, old brother. Awesome. Just hold it there for a sec. I think I might as well do that. Take it down for me a little bit. I'm gonna have to hammer that. Nope, push, 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 push. Yeah. I think we got her. Thank you. Not gonna weld that. Not gonna weld that right yet. Because I do not know if we're going to put another piece in there, but um, I'm not going to weld that right now. Uh, it is not a bad, bad thing. Hard place to work. Just going to do a little bit more welding here, and then I'll move on to the other piece.
All right, you can get the picture on what's going on there. I'm going to weld that all the way. I'll weld that all the way around there and, and continuously weld that. And the reason being is um, there's quite a bit of, you know, there's no floor in it. We might as well tighten her up. So we got the back piece now. We got the back piece. Yeah, I'm just gonna weld it in there. I'm gonna need a little bit more. Just watch yourself for a second. Not going down there yet. We don't know what's going on there yet, but I am gonna pluck it on up here. I need my, you have my, my third arm there, Doug, buddy. Did that fall off? Good enough. Just gonna tack this up in there. Ouch. I need a flapper wheel. I don't really. I want to see clamp it. So I'm going to go and get one. So it's down in there tight.
Yeah. That's good for now. So that's plunked in there. That there, um, right now, is very strong. It's not coming out of there. We've got a tack there. We've got it weld along here. We've got a piece in there. We've got a piece up the front. Um, that's going to hold everything in place. I'm going to weld that in solid all the way along there. I'm going to weld this all in solid. And that way there we have some structural integrity with that square stock in there. It's a lot stronger than that piece. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. And then we have something to connect our cross members to is a square stock there. And we have to run a piece of square stock across here. How much time we got? We're an hour or two. All right, so I appreciate you coming back. I really do. But we'll, what we'll do is, is I'll weld up this side. We'll put the other side in. And then tomorrow we can go from, uh, well, maybe that's not going on tomorrow, is it? Tomorrow, I think there might be, might be some Bugatti action. We'll, we'll see. But anyways, thanks for coming back. We appreciate it. Uh, we're just starting to get it tied in for what we're going to do this side. We're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Like, share, come back, subscribe, and say hello to Duck. Hey. Have a good day, everybody.